On April 29th, U.S. 10-year real yields moved into positive territory for the first time in over two years. One month later, the five-year followed suit. Real yields are calculated by subtracting the expected rate of inflation over a future time period from the nominal yield of the corresponding U.S. Treasury. In this calculation, break-even rates are used as the inflation expectation. When real yields are heavily negative, they are viewed as an economic stimulant and that investment money is discouraged from being stored in the safety of U.S. bonds and encouraged to seek greater returns. When these yields turn positive, they tend to lure investment money back into the safety at the expense of riskier investments. This can have a negative effect on equity prices and on investment decisions made by businesses. From August 1st to August 26th, 10-year real yields have jumped from 0.09% to 0.43%. Although this remains below the 10-year average of real yields, it's conspicuous in its rate of change and its implications that future expectations of inflation may have cooled significantly. Traders will continue watching real rates for more clues to the aggressiveness of the Fed rate policy going forward.